Good day, my friends, and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. My name's Chris. I'm the Batman statue collector right here on YouTube, and look at what we have today, guys. This thing is absolutely insane. This is the life-size Joker bust. Absolutely incredible from The Killing Joke, of course, one of my favorite all-time books as a kid, and it is really one of the most iconic comic books out there, period. It tells the story of the Joker's origin from a struggling comedian to the Red Hood to this right here. And again, this is taken directly from the art of the iconic Brian Boland, of course, from The Killing Joke. Again, just an absolutely iconic story. And look at this, guys. It is life-size. It is here in the Batcave, and I am going to be able to review it for you guys today. Thanks, everybody, that joined me for the live unboxing. That was incredible. And again, we're going to take a closer look at all the details and all of the bells and whistles that you get with this piece as we review it today for you guys. And again, it is just insane to have it here in the Batcave. So we're going to review it. But before we do that, if you are new here, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. That really helps with that mysterious YouTube uh, algorithm that's out there. Who knows what that is all about, you know. But anyway, thanks for tuning in today, guys. Let's get right to the review. Real quick, guys, I want to show you a couple of things. First of all, it does have the uh, the Limit Studio Collectibles Joker uh, certificate. Uh, again, this one right here is 42 out of 99 uh, ES, um, and that is the uh, the Asian Pacific region. Um, and so, again, it uh, is licensed by DC. It's got the uh, the hologram there. Very, very cool, their certificate. And it does come with a US plug. Um, so, again, that does light up. Um, so I just want to show you that before we get started. And uh, now let's go ahead and get into the bust. All right, guys, here we go. I want to apologize for all the box mess down there below, but there was so much going on with the box. But I wanted to go ahead and get this reviewed for you guys. And I just I have to show it to you. It is absolutely insane. Look at this thing. It is crazy massive. i got the wide angle lens going right now. Um, but from top to bottom, it is just so freaking cool. So I'll go back to my regular lens here and uh, I'll show you all the detail here. So we obviously have the, the fun house. Again, this was an integral part of the story where Joker kidnaps um, you know, Police Commissioner Gordon, uh, kind of tortures him, makes him insane by showing him those photos of Barbara Gordon right through those fun house doors, which is really cool. And of course you have the, the coaster ride or the tunnel of love or whatever you want to call it. And here you can see it's got that really great coaster uh, that magnetizes right in with a key, which is great. Um, you also have really great elements all the way around. Now this is very heavy, it's uh, kind of bottoming, bottoming out on my turntable here, so I'll try to spin this the best I can. Uh, there it goes. Um, again, very, very heavy piece. But you can see that it's got some really, really fun details. Obviously the coaster track goes all the way around. On the back side it does have Batman the Killing Joke, which is great. And then of course that coaster track goes all the way around. Let me show you um, as it's got the busted track and of course more skulls and things like that, which is great. So I'll spin it back around so it doesn't bottom out again. <laughs> again, it's very, very heavy on my turntable. Um, my lazy Susan here, so let me get it turned. Okay, there we go. Okay, so anyway, that's kind of the base. Again, you have all of this great detail um, as you go throughout. And then of course that leads to all of the, uh, the light up feature there. Um, it does have the bulbs go all the way around and it does have a steady on and then it has a slow fade in and out. So you have kind of those great carnival lights. Again, these are meant to be like carnival lights throughout here, uh, throughout the uh, the Tunnel of Love or the uh, amusement park there, which is very, very cool. So that's basically the base. And then as we go up the actual statue, you're going to see that it's got the real fabric, which is great. Uh, really nice detail there, the tattered edges all the way through the bottom of this. Uh, again, really nice uh, thick material. And then it's got the um, the vest as well, kind of these greenish buttons, these greenish blue buttons. Again, this is real fabric on polystone. He is incredibly heavy, uh, high quality guys. Um, very, very nice. Again, Limit Studio did a really good job with this, um, especially like the packaging, the packaging over here. Again, I apologize for the mess, but um, two really big boxes, but they really packed it well. Multiple layers, it's got the black straps. Highly, rec good job guys, really, really well done. Um, speaking of straps, you also have the strap for the uh, coat, which is cool. It hangs down on the side, so that's really neat. And then as you go up the statue, you're going to see more details. It's got that great Joker logo right there, which is featured. Um, that's maybe my only downside is that this uh, actually um, is a little cufflink on the cover, and it's gold, but it's still a nice touch. 
Uh, it's not exactly the same, but it's a nice touch. Um, then of course you also have, um, you know, the real skin right there going through. Um, the, it was white on the prototype, it wasn't, but they fixed it. So it's white skin, which is great. Also, you have um, a really great detail on the glove itself. Uh, you can see the paint effects there. Really nice color purple. Uh, it's also got a real leather strap for the camera, which is hanging down just like it is in the comic. Of course, the camera is really cool. It's got that W-I-T-Z, just like the cover itself. Kind of that 80s looking camera. That's right, you guys remember using cameras like this? It's really well done, obviously, a lot of great detail there. Nice paintwork. And then, of course, you know, you got the other arm as well, that same fabric. You got some nice detailing there. Uh, again, just that's actually real metal. Uh, again, the black shirt underneath, with the white skin. You can see the purple, you can see like a little bit of highlights in the paint way they did that so that looks really good it's not just flat purple it's got some different uh, tones so that looks good uh, going down here it's got the green ribbon uh, in the actual book it is um, purple uh, in the actual cover so they actually took some liberties here I think they did that just to give it a little pop of color um, there is wire in this so it is posable you know however if you want to like pose it like it's flying up you can do that, but there is wire in this, so that is a really nice touch to kind of give it exactly what you want it to look like. And then again, it's got the black collar. <clears throat> so again, this is all real clothing. I mean, it's all real, um, really well done. Uh, the back side here, again, just so you can feel that, that beautiful fabric. It's real nice, really nicely done. Okay, let's get into uh, the face, the main event. Uh, again, it's just absolutely incredible. Uh, somebody was uh, complaining about the eyes in the live stream. He's squinting. Uh, he's squinting, and that's exactly the way it is in the cover. He's looking through that lens. Um, so this is an exact representation of the cover. It looks identical. Um, you can see it's got a really great whitish cream color face. It's not white white, but it's a little bit creamy. Um, looks a little bit more like pancaked uh, makeup. You can see the texture there on the skin, which looks great. Uh, obviously the teeth, uh, the shininess of the lip, which is insane. Look at that. Just incredible. Got the gums. I feel like it's very comic accurate. Uh, you can see the slit of his eyes right there. So again, nice paint. Got the green eyebrows. I love the hair, uh, the way it's uh, coming out of the hat. All these little strands key in, um, and they're all color coded, which is very helpful. Uh, very easy to go in. And then of course you've got hair back here as well. And it's kind of curls in the back a little bit, so that's cool. Um, but again, just that face. Now, of course, the camera does block most of his, you know, that side of his face. Um, but both sides look great, trust me. <laughs> it's like, let's peek it, let's peek in there. Again, you got the great profile right there. It's just cool. You got the ear. Again, it is fully sculpted, guys, on the face. Uh, obviously, the clothing is down below the neck. Just so cool. I mean, look at that detail. It's really cool. I mean, I've got the old Joker back there, kind of hiding <laughs> hiding back there. Um, that one is great, but this one's way better. Like, this one is way, way better. Um, and it's just, it's so massive. Like, it's just so tall. It's really cool. And of course, you have the hat. Um, I kind of wore this, <laughs> kind of. There is a big key on it, um, but it is life-size. I mean, it fit my head. <laughs> it's got some great detail there as well. Um, you know, again, that is fully sculpted. That is not fabric, but they did a really nice job with the texture to make it look like a ribbon or a leather. It's got some nice texture on the hat. And again, this is, this is pure polystone. I mean, it's, it's heavy as, as well. The whole piece is really quite heavy. Uh, there's a lot of really great quality with this. But look at that. I mean, isn't that just insane, guys? Could you imagine having this as part of your collection? I'm just, I'm so excited for whoever gets this. Again, let me go kind of to a wide lens. I'm gonna kind of step back again, just so you guys can see just really how big it is in the room um, to really show you the size of him and the presence that he has. Um, it's just, he's just really incredible. 
It's just one of the coolest things I've seen as a Batman collector. Uh, again, if you are a Joker fan, it's just, it's top notch. Uh, this studio did a phenomenal job. Penguin Toys as well. Um, again, this, the base is cool. It's just really neat. And the face, I mean, that's the main event. It's like that, that, right, that image right there. I mean, that is the cover. And to have it fully sculpted and have it, well, I mean, obviously fabric as well, but have it 3D sculpted, like in person. And, you know, just what a wow, what a wow impact piece. Um, I do think this is going to be absolutely a grail. There's not very many of these made worldwide. Um, and so I think this is going to be a very sought after piece. But could you imagine having this in your collection? It is just so good. I recommend it highly, guys. Um, I think it's amazing. I give this one uh, like a 9.7 out of 10. Like it is, again, maybe the color could have been a little different on the ribbon or something. But, oh my gosh, this thing is just absolutely incredible. They did a great job, guys. I have a lot of faith in these companies. Again, this is the first time I've ordered for them. Um which is phenomenal. I want to give a shout out to Todd as well at Spec. Um, that's where I got this one from. Highly recommend him. Uh, he's very well known in the community, so in, in, in faith I have in, in Todd. So just absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. So I don't know what else there is to say about it. I mean, I've showed you all the things I can show you. Uh, again, it is what it is. It just is, it is a bust. Let me go wide, wide angle again. Just, again, it's from top to bottom. It is insane how good it is. Absolutely insane. So freaking cool. There you have it, an incredible look. I mean, look at this thing. It is absolutely insane. Again, based on this great right here, this iconic cover, Brian Boland right there. Sorry for the glare. I absolutely love this. Again, it is one of my favorite books of all time. And look at this, side by side. It is just absolutely insane to have this as part of any collection. It is definitely a wow factor for sure. It is massive, it is incredible, and it's iconic. And there's only an ES on this of 99, and this one is waitlisted everywhere. It is sold out everywhere, and so it's going to become very, very difficult to get this. And speaking of that, as the recording of this anyway, um, I had a buyer for this. Um, they actually bought it, but they changed their mind due to some life circumstances. And so, unfortunately, I'm going to be selling this one. Uh, I really want to keep it, but I just don't have the space in the new direction for the Bat Bunker. And so I am going to be letting this one go. So I have a couple of people interested right now. Um, so it might be sold by the time uh, this actually airs, but it is available, at least right now. If you're interested, the Batman Statue Collector at gmail.com. It is uh, $1,500 plus shipping, uh, just asking retail for it. So I would love to keep it as part of the collection, but at the end of the day, I am focusing more on the, uh, the full figures and not necessarily the bus. So if you're a bus collector or if you just love the killing joke, again, this amazing book right here. Um, I just, I cannot recommend this enough. It is so freaking awesome. And I hope you enjoyed the review. Again, if you are interested in it, uh, hit me up at thebatmanstatuecollector at gmail.com. Or, of course, you can find me on Facebook or Instagram and other places. Uh, you guys know where I'm at. So not, uh, not too hard to track down. So anyway, thank you guys for checking out this incredible review. Um, it is just an insane, insane, awesome piece. I can't recommend it enough. And, I mean, come on. Does it get more iconic than this if you're a Joker fan? Uh, anyway, thank you guys so very much for checking out the video today. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Hit the join button down below for early access if you want to support the channel like that. And again, just thank you for supporting us by watching. It really does help if you watch from the beginning to the end of the video. Just keep it running, guys. That's awesome. It really helps me out tremendously as we are on our road to 45K, okay? Thank you guys so very much for checking out the video today. Uh, and I guess I'll see you guys soon in the Batcave. Bye, everybody. How awesome is this thing? Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.